The Last of Us premiered last January 15th to a whopping 10 million viewers in just two days. This is a big-budget video game adaptation that has been receiving amazing reviews both from critics and fans, largely because the adaptation stayed faithful to the game, with the addition of several scenes that gave depth to the story. Instead of being another soulless adaptation, where only the title and names are connected to the source material. Looking at you, Witcher, Resident Evil, Halo, Wheel of Time, Rings of Power. I'm gonna do this all day. But there might be tidbits about The Last of Us TV series that you don't know yet. The first episode was supposed to end with Joel carrying the boy's body into the fire. It was revealed in The Last of Us podcast, aired after the first episode, that the showrunners originally intended episode 1 to end when Joel carried the euthanized boy's body into the fire pit, and the scenes after that were supposed to be episode 2. HBO executives Casey Ployce and Fran Orsi disagreed with this choice, saying it's not necessarily going to make them come back to the show if they've only seen a glimpse of Ellie and she and Joel don't end up together to start their journey in the first episode. People may just not want to come back, and that they need to establish why the audience should care about this kid and their journey. Craig Mazin, one of the showrunners, mentioned that this is what he feels the best network executives are there for, to honestly represent the audience. They're not supposed to write things for the show, they're there to give honest feedback. And ultimately, he and Neil agree with the decision. And I personally think it is the right direction because it made episode 1 a lot more complete and got the audience already invested in Joel and Ellie's journey. Nick Offerman almost turned down the role. Nick Offerman wasn't Neil and Craig's first choice to portray Bill. They offered it to Con O'Neill first, who turned down the role because of scheduling conflicts with Our Flag Means Death, where he plays Izzy. Even then, Nick was about to turn it down since he was also shooting a different project and there will also be scheduling conflicts, but he changed his mind quickly when he read the script and gave it to his wife, Megan Mullally, who adamantly told him he has to take this role. I will defeat you right into my pants. Everybody go crazy! While we can see that Bill is basically Ron Swanson surviving in an apocalypse, it's amazing to see the depth that Nick Offerman and Murray Bartlett, who plays Frank, have given to this couple. It's a beautiful portrayal of what happens when you allow love and hope to thrive even in the most desperate times. And while it's a complete departure from what happened in the game, they were able to elevate Bill and Frank's story. Movie Adaptation A movie adaptation of The Last of Us was attempted twice. One was supposed to be directed by Sam Raimi, director of the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movies, and Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness, with the game's writer and creative director, Neil Druckmann, connected to the film. Macy Williams, who starred as Arya Stark in Game of Thrones, and Caitlin Dever auditioned for the role of Ellie. The movie ultimately got stuck in development hell. The other attempt is an animated short film handled by Sony, but was cancelled and never came to fruition. In the end, the rights reverted back to Naughty Dog, which gave Neil Druckmann the freedom to pitch the story to Craig. And we got the Last of Us adaptation that we deserve. The cast is a powerhouse of talent. Aside from Pedro Pascal, who plays Joel side by side the Mandalorian, and Bella Ramsey, who gained popularity as Lady Liana Mormont from Game of Thrones, you may have seen Tommy, Tess, and Marlene in other popular TV series. Tommy, played by Gabriel Luna, also played Ghost Rider in Marvel's Ages of S.H.I.E.L.D. In 2019, it was announced that he will have a spin off focusing on the character, but was unfortunately cancelled by Hulu. Tess, played by Anna Torv, was one of the main cast of my favorite sci-fi show of all time, Fringe, where she played as Agent Olivia Dunham. She also starred as Dr. Wendy Carr in another critically acclaimed series, Mindhunter. Merle Danrich, who plays Marlene both in the game and in the TV series, played Kim Hammond, the detective who was investigating Cassie in the first season of The Flight Attendant. She also portrayed Fire Chief Natasha Ross in Grey's Anatomy spin-off, Station 19. The showrunners are fans of each other. The Last of Us podcast also revealed that Craig is a big fan of the game and Neil Druckmann himself. They were introduced to each other by Shannon Woodward, who did the voice and motion capture for Dina in The Last of Us Part 2, and also starred as Elsie in Westworld. Meanwhile, Neil took interest in Craig after seeing Chernobyl and invited him to meet. It was during this time that Neil asked hypothetically how the process would be if he were to pitch a Last of Us adaptation to HBO, and Craig was more than happy to explain. The opening scene was added to the show three weeks before production was about to wrap up. 
Craig wasn't feeling the original opening act that they have planned and had actually pitched something similar to Neil way before they started filming, but Neil felt it a little too boring. Three weeks before they were about to wrap up shooting, Craig pitched a revised version of the intro to Neil and this time he agreed and we got an absolutely amazing opening scene with Dr. Newman, played by John Hanna, who you may know as Jonathan in The Mummy, and Josh Brenner, who portrayed Big Head in Silicon Valley, that explains why a fungal pandemic is a bigger global threat because it can alter minds and take control of humans, which is exactly what happens in the story. Even though he was talking in hypothetical, since the interview was set in 1968 and the infection would not happen until decades later, it sets the tone on how devastating and terrifying it will be to live in a world where Cordyceps fungi have taken over the world. What other Last of Us facts do you know? Have you played the game or are you planning to replay it after watching the show? Let me know by commenting your answers down below and I'll see you in the next video.